The Google Sheet you see here checks the indexing status of bulk URLs from Google Search Console and you can request indexing of bulk URLs. It has three worksheets. On the first worksheet, it has two functions. You can extract all the URLs using a sitemap to check their indexing status. If you don't like to extract the URLs from a sitemap, then you can enter the URLs in column B here. And then you can click on this URL indexing status button to check their status on Google Search Console. It checks the status of each URLs on Google Search Console using an API. And when it's done, you can see the status on this second worksheet. The column B, page fetch status. It shows if the URL fetching was successful or not. The coverage status. It shows the current status on the Google Search Console, such as whether it is indexed or not, crawled, discovered, and so on. Indexing allowed or not allowed. If the Google Search Console allows indexing of this URL, the last crawl date and time shows the last crawl date and time by Google bots. This Google canonical URL shows what is the canonical URL set by Google. This is not the canonical URL you set for a page. The robot.txt state, it shows if indexing is allowed on the robot.txt file for the pages. The sitemap, if the page is included with a sitemap, it shows the sitemap. On this third worksheet, you can request indexing of bulk URLs at once. Enter the URLs in the first column here and click on this request indexing button. It will take a few moments to display the status in this status column. Now I will show you how you can use this Google Sheet. First you need to get the Google Sheet. When you get the Google Sheet, you will see this option to copy the Google Sheet into your account. So I will make a copy. and. Now the worksheet is copied into my Google account. I can rename the Google sheet if I want to. Here you see all the three worksheets. Before anything else, I need to get the APIs on Google Cloud Console to check the indexing status of bulk URLs and request indexing of bulk URLs. The process is easy to follow. Here I'll search for Google Cloud Console and I will visit this website. Here I have a few projects. I'll create a new project here. I'll name it GSC bulk URLs. Okay, I'll create this. It is creating the project. If you are using Google Cloud for the first time, you need to add your billing information. However, you get free credits, so you won't be charged initially. So it created the project. Now I need to select that project. So this is the GSC bulk URLs project I just created. Now viewing project GSC bulk URLs. Now. I will click on APIs and services here. I need to enable two APIs. At the top, you see enable APIs and services. I'll click on that. And here I will search for Google Search Console API. So this is the Google Search Console API. I'll turn this on. I'll click on this enable. This is to check the page status on Google Search Console. The API has been enabled. I'll go back to API and services. I'll click on APIs and services again and I'll search for web search indexing. So this is the web search indexing API. Here I'll click on enable again. This is to request indexing of bulk URLs to Google Search Console from the Google Sheet. Now the APIs are ready with this project. Now I'll click on this menu under cloud overview. I'll click on dashboard here. I can see the project number. I need this project number here. I'll click on this navigation menu under APIs and services. You see OAuth consent screen. I'll click on this here. I need to create OAuth consent screen. I'll select external here. I'll click on create under this app name. I'll just add GSC indexing user support email i'll select my email id here i'll scroll down i don't need to add anything here here i need to add my email address as the developer contact information so i will add my email address here and i'll click on save and continue now i'll click on this menu again i'll click on cloud overview dashboard and here you see the project number i need this project number I will add this project number to the Google Sheet here so that it can communicate with the Google Cloud project here and work with the APIs. 
So I'll copy the project number here. I'll click on this extensions menu, click on app script. Here under project settings, I'll scroll down. Here I need to add the project number, Google Cloud Platform project. I'll click on change project. I'll paste the number here and set project. Now this Google worksheet can communicate with this Google project here. I'll close this window. Here I need to add a sitemap URL to extract all the URLs under that sitemap. So I will click on this post sitemap. I'll copy the link here and I'll paste it here. Now I'll click on extract URLs from sitemap. So when you are running this for the first time, you need to authorize the script. I'll click on OK. I'll select my account here. It shows an error that the GSC indexing has not completed the Google verification. Here on the project, I see OAuth consent screen under the APIs and services. I need to publish the app here. I forgot that step. So I'll click on publish app. I'll click on confirm. So now we are ready. I'll go back to the Google sheet again. I'll click on extract URLs from sitemap. I need to authorize the script. I'll select my account here. I'll click on advanced. Scroll down, select go to GSC indexing, unsafe, and I will allow. The script has been authorized with the Google account. Now I need to hit the button again to extract the sitemap from this post sitemap URL. You can see it is running the script. It will take a few moments to extract the URLs and the titles from the sitemap. If you don't want to extract the URLs from the sitemap, you can just put the URLs in this column B and click on this URL indexing button to check the indexing status. I'll show that to you in a moment. You can see it grabbed all the URLs under this sitemap. I can see here it has 80 URLs. You can have hundreds of URL within a sitemap. Now I will check the indexing status of these URLs. But before this, I will copy all these and I'll save this in an Excel file. Like I said, if you don't want to extract the URLs from the sitemap, you can just simply put the URLs here on this column. I'll delete everything. Now I'll copy 40 URLs from this list and I'll enter them here. Now I have 40 URLs. Here I need to enter the website address. So I'll just type the address here. I added 40 URLs here because the API we are using here have some limits. So I have decided I will run 40 URLs to check the indexing status. Currently we have nothing here. Now I'll click on this URL indexing status. You see it is running the script. You have to select this URL prefix before running the indexing status. If your domain is added on Google search console using URL prefix, select this URL prefix. If the domain is verified in the domain level in Google search console, then select the domain. Since my domain is verified with URL prefix, I have selected the URL prefix here. This is the default selection here. Now you see it extracted all the information from Google search console for the URLs. I entered 40 URLs here. Here I see 40 URLs and you see all the status for all the URLs. Here you see it didn't find the sitemap for this URL. So the sitemap cell for this URL is blank. Now you know how to fetch the status of bulk URLs from Google Search Console. Now let's see the indexing request. Here you just need to enter the URLs. I'll copy some of the URLs. Let's copy 20 URLs. And here I'll paste the URLs. I have 20 URLs here. Now when I click on this request indexing button, it will request indexing of all of these URLs. Make sure you are the owner of this domain for which you are requesting the indexing. Now I'll click on this request indexing. It is working with the web search indexing API. It requests the owners to create an indexing request. If you are not owner of the property on Google Search Console, you cannot do this. You do not have any limit. You can enter as many as URLs you want. And here you see the status indexing request successful. You will find the link to copy the Google Sheet and other resources in the video description. Please leave your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching.